I'm now going to make a Jenny Gammy bird cage. As you can see from this one here, I've done a little canary inside a silver cage with just little plain doors at the front which you could fill with some kind of vellum or mesh. But just to show you what's achievable on the other side, I've turned it into a Christmas design with a little robin in front and some little fake snow attached to it. On the actual CD, you get a plain white template or you get a silver option or a gold option. I've cut out the parts here for the gold option. Now on this you actually get some fake doors drawn in for you. But you can cut these right out and add in something of your own if you wish or you can leave them as they are. So you get two sections here which is the front and the back of the cage. You get two side sections with panels cut out and again you can add mesh or something to them if you wish. You get the two main parts of the bird cage and a centre section with a bar across it that you attach the bird to. And you can obviously colour in the bird any way you wish. This one's a little blue budgie. You then get two strengthening bars. Now this strengthening bar is a little different because it's shaped to match the cage. And this one is similar to the other strengthening bars you'll have come across. To start with we're going to take the three main dome sections of the bird cage. Now the part with the bird goes in the middle and the other parts would go either side of this. There are various ways to build this but I think the way I'm going to show you just now is probably the simplest. I take the bottom strengthening bar and these three slots in the middle are the three slots that these three domes are going to attach to. So this part here will slot over the centre of the dome here. Like so. We would then have the part with the bird that would slot over the next section and then the final part would slot under the part there. So we then have the three dome sections crossing over with the strengthening bar. I find what's easy to do next is to add one of the side panels. This immediately gives the bird cage some strength and makes it easier to work with. Now hopefully you can see here that the three domed sections at the bottom have a hole at the bottom, a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom. These coordinate with these three sections here which has a hole at the top, a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top. So the exact opposite of here. So we're going to slot these over and under these three sections. So this one goes through the hole here and down over. This one goes underneath and this one goes through the hole and over. What you then have, and I'll turn this sideways so you can see it a bit better, is it's only attached by the bottom so far. You then have three hooks at the top of these round parts and they hook under the holes in this side of the cage here. So you actually have to bend these to get them to slot under, like so and bend the middle one to slot it under and then bend the end one to slot it under. You then have the side panel securely attached to the bird cage. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. It's the longer part that's at the bottom and the shorter part that's at the top and we're going to join on the three bottom sections first. Goes under over and under and then we then bend the top sections to hook them in. Okay, I'm just going to fold it flat just to make sure that everything's slotted together perfectly. We're now going to add the front and the back of the bird cage. These add in exactly the same way. For here you have two slots at the bottom and a larger hole going down. This middle section here needs to go through this hole and slot over it, whereas the two side sections slot underneath here. So I'm going to slot one side section over first and then going to push that middle section through and slot it over and then slot the side section in place. You then again have the hooks 
at either side the same as you did before and you just hook these over and under each other and then your backs in place to put the front in place you do exactly the same I'm going to hook that over at the side and push the strengthening bar through the middle hole and then push this edge one over the top and then the top hooks are just going to bend and slot into each other Oops. We then just have this top strengthening bar. Not only does this add strength, but it helps give the bird cage a little shape as well. So for this, this centre hole here is actually going to slot right through this loop for hanging the cage up, and then it's going to slot under the sections either side here and over the front and the back of the cage here. Now sometimes you have to bend this a little to get it to go through here. And then we're going to take this very middle part here, the middle hole, and it's just going to slot right on top. We then need to take this and push it underneath the oval part of the cage so that the top two slots fit together. And the same on the other side, underneath, and slot them together. And then take the two end parts and slot them over the front and the back of the cage. And then again, I'm going to fold it flat just to make sure that everything's in place. And there we have a completed bird cage. Well, my bird looks a little bit drunk at the moment, but completed bird cage with a budgie inside. And as per usual, these fold perfectly flat for going inside a card or inside a scrapbook page, but just by lifting they fall back into their 3D shape.